Hello everyone, I am Batuhan Özenç. I am the Marketing and Sales Director for Ezaci Başı Monroz. We have been attending to EANM since 2002, so this is our 13th attendance for the EANM Congress and EANM has become one of the most important part of our marketing efforts internationally. We have product portfolio in spec business such as technosium generators and cold kits and we are also the producers of pet tracers. In addition to that, our teams have developed an expertise in, in the project business. That means basically as Ajibaji Monroe will keep investing in nuclear medicine and to serve the nuclear medicine society in a stronger way in the future. Hermes Medical Solutions at booth 123 at EANM 2014 in Gothenburg, Sweden is the industry leader in nuclear medicine image processing and reconstruction. With the release of SUV SPEC, true quantitative SPEC, Hermes presents the most important advance in SPEC imaging since the invention of SPEC itself. The first case shows intense technesium 99M MDP uptake in a bone metastasis in the thoracic spine with an SUV max of 38. This next case shows intense I-123 MIBG uptake in a large paraganglioma in the right abdomen as well as a bone metastasis in the right femur. After a single click volume of interest is created, the graph demonstrates an SUV max of 89 in the large primary lesion, which is reduced to background level after therapy. The second graph of the bone metastasis shows a slight reduction in SUV max after the initial treatment, which completely resolves after additional therapy. This case shows intense I-123 uptake in the thyroid gland consistent with hyperthyroidism. After volumes of interest for each lobe are created and merged into one, the total uptake can be quantified with a newly proposed metric, the standardized total uptake value, or STUV, which could be used to determine the I-131 therapy dose, potentially eliminating the need for determination of percentage uptake utilizing a thyroid probe. And finally, a glimpse into the future at Hermes. This image shows three-dimensional segmentation of the lungs pre- and post-surgery derived from a SPEC CT allowing for determination of lung perfusion prior to and after lobectomy. Coppa CC4 is a new teranosic agent. We have a market authorization in Europe to introduce this new agent in the market. And uh, this uh, new compound uh, introduced the possibility to have a fusion between diagnosis and treatment. In this picture is possible to visualize the treatment effect in patients after one month of treatment. It's possible to observe the reduction of the tumor lesion. This is very important to introduce in the market the new concept of a teranostic agent. In reality, it's the first teranostic agent after iodine in the history of nuclear medicine. This year, Manningcroft Pharmaceutical invite the nuclear medicine community to discuss the way that we secure the Moly 99 production and supply chain for the interest of patients. Since 2010, we have added outage reserve capacity for irradiation in the nuclear reactors in Europe, and we have diversified our sourcing of Moly 99 in anticipation of the NRU shutdown. All these changes may have impact on the costs all over the supply chain, and cost recovery mechanism may have to be adjusted, such as reimbursement. But we believe that the health technology assessment applied to functional imaging could demonstrate the cost efficiency favorable for Technistom 99 based procedures. Welcome to ANM 2014. Welcome on the GLSK booth at this ENM 2014. This year for us, it's all about intelligent quantification and how to optimize and improve the diagnostic confidence of our customers. In PET-CT, we are pushing the boundaries by developing the QSUV, which is enabled by QClear, a new reconstruction algorithm which brings a better image quality by full convergence. This QClear technology is made available on a new NPI, the Discovery IQ, which enables scanning patients at, at the dose all the time. So it's about quantification, but also patient comfort. We're even pushing further the boundaries in nuclear medicine with the path to absolute quantification with the Q-Suite on our new camera, the Discovery 670 Pro, which will enable quantification of the organs by a segmentation tool, both on the SPECT and CT. 
It also brings, for better patient comfort, the latest technology in CT by lowering the dose. But last and not least, we're even pushing further the boundaries in PETS imaging and neurology imaging. I'm very happy to announce that Visamil has been granted the marketing authorization for Europe last August and is going to be commercially available in European selected countries by 2015. Visamil is the only and new PET imaging tracer enabling the detection of amyloid plaques with, of course, recommended color scale in the cognitive impairments and for patients who are being evaluated for Alzheimer's disease and other causes of cognitive impairments. So please come on our booth, contact us on the web, contact your sales G representative in your local regions to get much more details and much more information on our new NPIs. Thank you. This year at ENM, we showcase a broad array of molecular imaging innovations. The most dramatic of them is Varios Digital Path CT. Varios is based on the Philips proprietary digital photon counting technology. And it's the world's first and only true digital PET CT. It positions you to go above and beyond the current limitations of PET CT imaging to improve patient care. But at Philips, we go above the technology to the experience of the people at the very heart of care to unlock the insights across the entire continuum of care. Together with our customers, we use those insights to develop solutions to advance medicine and to transform care. Solutions inclusive of services, consultancy, and education that improve diagnostic confidence and clinical efficiency. Capability to do SPECT and PET simultaneously, where you can do PET at a three quarter of a millimeter and uh, SPECT at a half millimeter resolution when you perform it simultaneously. If you do SPECT separately, you can even go down to a quarter millimeter resolution. On the other side, you can also do very low uh, dose imaging. Uh, about a quarter megabecquerel is enough to do a full body scan and even probably even less, but uh, that has not completely tried out. Um, also, um, SPECT systems are known to be slow, but this system is extremely fast. You can do a total uh, body scan in 10 seconds, so you can make really movies uh, of uh, pharmacokinetics uh, of a tracer in a living animal. The system can also do multiple isotope SPECT uh, simultaneously with uh, PET. So for example, three spec tracers and a pet tracer. We have several examples of that and it's very exciting to see that you can follow uh, so many processes in a, a living uh, being. The system is more compact. That is a very big improvement because it's important for several labs. In addition, uh, the CT unit is uh, dramatically better than uh, we had uh, before. We used to uh, work with a third party CT system, but now it's uh, uh, an own developed a system that not, not only has a much better resolution but also a significantly lower a dose and a much higher speed. From the USPECT and Vector series always a strong part has, has been that we don't use rotating detectors but stationary detectors that uh, remove the need for regularly calibrating the system for geometry. So the systems are extremely uh, stable and uh, so they have a very uh, high image quality uh, that stays uh, over time exactly the same. So you can, when you perform now quarter millimeter resolution, you can do that also many, many years uh, from now at the same system. The customers that visited us this morning were extremely enthusiastic about the system. They were very excited about the simultaneous SPECT uh, PET uh, capability and the recent data on that, on the recent publications about performing quarter millimeter resolution and quarter megabecquerel imaging and quarter minute uh, dynamic uh, SPECT uh, and very enthusiastic about the new CT unit and they had all kinds of ideas how to apply this immediately in their research. Not only the high resolution but also the low dose and the, the fast imaging capabilities of the CT unit. We are representing the radio pharma business segment of the Ekaden Sigla Group 
which is a specialist in the field of molecular imaging and nuclear medicine. We are supplying equipment for the synthesis and radiocomotography of PET and SPECT tracers and other isotopes, as well as radiopharmaceuticals and radiochemicals. Our latest innovation is the fastest and smallest radio synthesizer on the market, the Modular Lab Easy. With our synthesis equipment, our chemical kits, cassettes and software we are compiling with the highest standards of GMP, CGMP, GAM5, 21 CFR Part 11 regulations. Thank you very much for visiting our booth at the ENM. At this year's ENM, we are very happy and proud to have launched the Symbia Evo XL multi-purpose spec system. The first thing you might realize is the extremely small footprint. It's almost 30% smaller than any other spec system in the market. And further all, the image quality is as high and even better than any other system in the market. It has higher sensitivity and higher resolution than any other multi-purpose spec system. And finally, it is extremely flexible. It can be used also for patients that have mobility issues, either with a wheelchair or on a stretcher or gurney.